All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to can one champion with a 3-0 lead beat five servers. We are here today with Zonky, our champion player, as well as Soar, Eclipse, Inc, Nova, and Core, our five silver players here today. As you can see, Zonky is already up 3-0 right now. All he has to do is win one round. He's going to be starting here on defense. If he wins one round, it is GG's. The silvers go home and the champ wins. But... The Silvers are going to need to bring it all the way back to OT here just to get rid of that match point. So good luck to them. Good luck to Zonky. If you guys enjoyed Attackers this video, consider liking bomb. it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out Zonky's social. The link's down below in the description. And let's get straight into this first round. Alrighty, rounds number one has just started here. Zonky has chose to go upstairs into the kids' dorms bomb site here. He's playing Malusi. You guys know I love Malusi. I think she's great for these 1v5s. But it looks like we might see the first engagement here onto Ink, who's going to get taken out. That's the Ash gone. 20 seconds into the round, and Zonky's already secured a kill onto the Ash. Looks like his next victim might be Eclipse. He's going to be Flores droning in through the garage right now. Osa near him as well. Probably going to try to go in through the white stairs window here. Core already at the attic window as well. He's actually being droned in from Nova right now. And Core has actually hopped into attic. He's already basically in the bomb site right now. Zonky trying to get a kill here on the sword, but he's going to repel up to big window. Zonky might do a little bit of a run out, but it's not going to work. Look the wrong way. And he's almost going to get taken out by Eclipse here. Just narrowly missing the shots from him. Zor on the big window right now. But Kor already in inside of sight. And he's going to take out Zonki. That's it for Zonki. First round goes to the silver players. What Zonki's going to find very difficult in this 1v5 is not the gunfights per se. If Zonki gets a fair one-on-one -on -one gunfight, the chances of him winning it is extremely high. And we saw that demonstrated with the kill onto Ink, who was playing Ash last round. Zonki had a fair one versus one gunfight on him and he won it fair and square no problem for zonky whatsoever but the problem is going to be when he's getting droned in from multiple different perspectives there's multiple people pushing him from different angles he's getting pinched and he really has no idea where the other team is coming from that is going to be the problem for him and that's exactly what we saw happen last round core able to just hop straight in through attic window with nova just droning him in and with that drone that core was pushing off of. He had all the information he needed to push in and kill Zonki when Zonki had no idea he was even there. Zonki's going to have a very hard time covering all of his bases. He's going to have so many different angles to clear at once, whereas the silver players really only have to clear one angle. As soon as they know where Zonki's at, that's all they need to know. All right, so round number two has just commenced here, and it looks like the silver players are actually going to try to push in through the bunker, but we actually see Zonki getting very aggressive onto the Twitch. That's going to be Core taking a lot of damage around 50 HP. Zonki going for the reswing. A lot of damage onto Zonki. He's about 1 HP now, and Core back-to-back -back rounds carrying his team right now. 2-0. and oh. Basically a 1v1, and Core is winning it. I said Zonki would be able to win those 1v1s, but so far... He's not been able to win it, at least not in that round. Zonki getting taken out by Core. If Zonki wants to win this, he definitely needs to be winning those 1v1s more consistently. All I got to say, man, is reviewing Core's gameplay here. This guy definitely used Code Shock to get 30% off his next G Fuel order with the links down below in the description. If you want to play as well as he is, you guys definitely should as well. Check out G Fuel. The link is down below in the description. I've got some Tropical Rain G Fuel right here. That's what I'm drinking. Hopefully, it's helping my casting be a little bit better for you guys. But uh, definitely check it out. Would highly recommend it. My top three flavors are definitely Blue Ice, Tropical Rain, and Phase Berry. So if you guys haven't checked out G Fuel before, be sure to check it out. The link is down below in the description. Remember to use code SHOCK to get 30% off. That's S-H-A-W-K. Get 30% off for a limited time only. And let's go on to the second round here. I'm not sure if this is a UI bug or not, but it looks like Core's HP is about half. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. Because I believe he was on half HP last round. But for some reason, it looks like it's carried over to this round. So hopefully for his sake, he's not at half HP when the round starts. But we're about to see here. One second till the next round starts. Round number, I guess, technically round number three. Core's going to be back to full HP. Thank the Lord for his sake. Interestingly, Zonki has actually chose to pick out the Maestro for this. So he's going to be trying to hold down Bunker here with the LMG. This could work out very nice for him. We also see Zonki running the Suppressor, which I find very interesting. Uh, as the, we are playing this on the new season, Brutal Swarm. And if you guys were not aware, they actually buffed suppressors to where they do not take away any damage now when you're using them. So Zonki's going to be doing full damage with that suppressor. And his first gunfight onto Core is Arch Nemesis right here doing a little bit of damage onto him. Zonki taking a little bit more damage himself, though. He's got to be careful here. Going to reload that LMG. Only 30 bullets left. 
All the way back up to 80 now. We're going to see Ink swing into the hallway. He's going to get taken out by Zonky. The first kill of the round for him. But Core with the third kill. This guy is like an El Elden Ring boss of silver players. Core with three kills so far. Bringing us to OT now. The silvers, three to three. This definitely is not looking good for Zonky just yet. He needs to kill Core. Look into the scoreboard here. Core, three and O. Oh. His whole team not gotten a single kill. I'm not even sure if they've done any significant damage to Zonky. It has basically been just core. It looks like Ink has two assists. Or actually, I apologize. That's two deaths. No one even has an assist, which means no one has even shot Zonky on the silver team. It has been 100% core. That's it. Core versus Zonky. That's what we see right now. A 1v1. And Zonky losing it somehow. He shouldn't be. He's the champ player here. He should be winning this gunfight every single time. I'm not sure what's going on here. He just needs to, I think, play a little bit smarter. I don't think it's necessarily the gunfights that he's losing. I think it's the positioning that he's putting himself in. He needs to play a little bit smarter if he chooses to win this game. And his match point is gone now. Zonky had the 3-0 lead, but with the last round being won by Core, that 3-0 lead is going to be gone now. So Zonky no longer on match point. He's going to be picking up the Frost this round, hoping to get an easy Frost Mac kill. We'll see how it goes for him. Round number four, about to start. So luckily for Zonky, it looks like Core is actually going to choose to push in through Bunker. Maybe Core thinking that the site's down here, but he just beat Zonky down here. So unfor unlikely that Zonky would be picking downstairs again, but Core nevertheless going to be trying to push in through the tower here. Luckily for Zonky, he is as far away as he can get from him right now. And it looks like he might have a 1v1 isolated with Sor right now. He's going to choose to go to the big window. This could be a big kill for Zonky right now. But actually, there's a lot of the attackers right now pushing in through Attic. And the wall is soft right now. Breach Charge is coming out from Ace. That's going to be Ace getting taken down. That is Ink, the third death of the game now. The only silver player to fall so far. Core on the Attic window though. Flores Jones going in. That's going to push Zonky back now. He's got to fall out of Attic. Still got to be careful of Ink. Or Sora, who was on the big window. Sora trying to peek into the big window right now. Zonky's got to be careful of that. He has the frost mat, so that could stop it. Core going to be pushing in. The entry factor for the silver players. Gunfight coming out. Who's going to win it? Zonky finally taking out Core in the 1v1. Nice shots by Zonky. That's going to be Iana clone coming in, though. Sora trying to push into the big window. Nova and Eclipse pushing in through Attic. Laura Jones going out. That's going to blow a hole open in the attic. Zonky's flash. Nate's coming out. Who's going to win the gunfight? Is it going to be Flores? It's not. Eclipse getting taken out by Zonky. 1v2 now. A lot of damage onto the sledge. He's going to get taken out. It's off the sword now. Who hops in the big window? Narrowly getting taken out by the frost map, but not quite. 1v1 now. Zonky on half HP. Soar with the grenade in hand. Going to try to throw it out. This could be bad for Zonky. He's walking straight into the nade. And that's going to be Soar taking him out. Zonky narrowly winning the 1v5 in round four there, but he's going to get taken out by the grenade from Soar. That was a great round by Zonky that you have to give it to him. It was a very, very nice try by him. He was about to win that. He got four of the five kills right there. He was so close to winning it. If that grenade just didn't land, if he didn't walk into that grenade, there was no real way of Zonky being able to know that that grenade was coming. You got to give him props. He almost won that 1v5. If he can pull that off again in this next round, bring us to 4-4. Pull off that 1v5. All he needs to do is get that last kill. He was so close. But as I say that, this is going to be Zonky's first round on attack. So the past few rounds, he's been on defense. But this is the first time we're going to see him on attack. And so far, he's choosing to pick Knock. We'll see if he tries to choose off of this. He does have another 25 seconds to 6 pick if he so chooses to. Taking a look at the lineup for the defenders. Poor on the alibi nova on the lesion eclipse with the capkin ink with the rook and soar on the thunderbird the thunderbird definitely going to help out with those heals as i'm sure zonky's going to be trying to play a little bit slow and deal as much damage as you can but soar going to stop him with those thunderbirds he's not going to be able to play as slow as he would want eclipse with these capkin traps as well this could be devastating for zonky right now as if he's trying to be sneaky with that knock he could walk straight into a capkin trap not to mention nova with the lesion mines just so many traps that zonky has to bypass it's not going to be easy for him whatsoever but it looks like he's going to try to join in through the garage here and push in through possibly the main stairs taking a look at the positions for the silver players we actually see ink and eclipse playing big tower right now no one is actually near zonky in the garage so he does have free reign to push in through the garage here but he's gonna have to be careful there could be capkin traps there could be lesion mines you gotta be very careful how he chooses to attack this here Nova actually on the camera now, but Zonky's knock. So if you noticed, 
Nova's on the cam, but you never saw Zonky go by, and that's because he's playing knock. He's able to just walk straight down the main stairs without anybody knowing about it. Nova confused on where he's hearing these shots come from. Zonky with the suppressor out, gonna do full damage now with that suppressor buff. We're gonna see Core swing right now. This could be the death for Zonky. It is GG's. The silver players win 5-3. to three. Zonky not able to win a single legitimate round. He had that 3-0 head start, so it shows him up 3 rounds but he actually was not able to win a single round there core with four big kills and soar with another kill himself none of the other silver players really able to win that unfortunate by zonky but a great try and we're gonna move into map two all right ladies and gentlemen here we are with map number two with our silvers versus our champion who is once again starting 3-0 he's gonna be on defense once again here on border his map of choice hopefully zonky is able to pull through this map he came very close last game to winning one of the rounds and honestly that's all he needs remember he is up 3-0 all he has to do is win one round you may be thinking that he has to win an entire game he really doesn't if zonky can win just one round here he could potentially just take out the whole game that's all he got to do he needs to stop the silvers from getting to ot and win a round before then and if he can do that he has three tries to do that if he can win one of these three rounds going forward the game is over. GG, Zonky wins. But we'll see how he does. Remember, if you guys are enjoying this video, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Over 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. I post daily videos like this one as well as other gameplay videos. So if you guys are interested in that, once again, make sure you're subscribed. Turn notifications on. I post daily. You're not going to want to miss any of these videos that I have planned. Make sure to check out G Field. The link is down below in the description. And let's head into this first round. I love the use of Capkin by Zonky here. I think it's a great option. We saw last game on uh, Oregon, Zonky was having a big problem with the silver players kind of wandering in while they were playing on attack from just various different points of the map. And I think this Capkin is the exact thing that Zonky is going to need to counter this. Capkin on border is so, so, so powerful. He's not using the elite skin, which if you're not aware, the elite skin makes the Capkin traps on border practically invisible i'd highly recommend getting the elite skin for capkin if you're going to be playing him a lot on border but with that being said lion scans coming out here from Sora. looks like we're gonna have, have a big armory push right now we actually see zap already thermiting open the armory wall how is zonky gonna react to this there's already core is he getting taken out his arch nemesis getting taken out instantly that's the twitch getting taken out on the ventilation window here hannah is there as well Zonky gonna take the gunfight onto Hannah. A lot of damage being shot out, but it's not gonna happen. Hannah with the kill to Zonky, and I think that's a good opportunity for me to introduce our new player, Hannah. Uh, I forgot to mention this at the start of the game, but unfortunately, one of our players had to leave, so Hannah is going to be subbing, and she's going to pick up the first kill of the round on a Zonky, and it looks like the server is struggling. We are having huge amounts of ping. It is not on my end. It's not on the player's end. It looks like it's just going to be on the server's end. Can we get an L Ubisoft in the comments? Because honestly, they deserve it, man. Brand new season and we're getting 300 ping. This is unacceptable. All right, guys. Round number two has just started here. And we see a very similar lineup to what we saw last game. It looks like we might see more of an East take here, though, as we've got Hannah, Soar, and as well as Core all pushing through towards archives here a smoke grenade gonna come out of all things onto the ventilation window here by Korra. shots going out but nothing gonna hit of course as zonky is all the way in armory right now but as i say that zap got taken out actually and it looks like eclipse has just opened up the armory wall and he's gonna rotate into cctv now zonky trying to defend himself in the archives right now core smoke grenades no grenades um that's a little bit different eclipse with the kill onto zonky wow round number two already over yeah, and we see that kill coming out from the ace right there. Like I was saying previously, what's really difficult for these 1v5s is really not the gunfights or anything. It's just the way that the low ranked players play. If this was a higher ranked game, I almost feel like it could be potentially easier. Because the gun skill is not really the problem coming from Zonky. It's more so the positioning of the other team eclipse just crouch walked looking at the floor inside of 90 hallway doesn't make any sense whatsoever and it's not something that zonky's used to seeing in a champion game so for him to walk into the 90 hall and see just a guy aiming at the floor it's not something he's prepared to even you know go against right so the odd positioning coming from these silver players is really throwing zonky off here yeah we can see exactly what i was talking about uh 
Zonky is trying to counter it. So like I was saying, basically the positioning from these silver players is so odd and they're coming in from so many different directions that Zonky is really not prepared for. He's trying to play the Capkin to kind of deny that, but instead it's not working. So he's actually going to go Legion, but Eclipse going to run straight in. He's going to get taken out by Zonky. Great first kill by him. Eclipse may be pushing in a little bit too fast. Zap going to try to push in through the double door here. Not even looking at Zonky right now. And he's going to get taken out. That's Zap gone. 1v3 already for Zonky. And a team kill coming out from Sword. That's going to be Hannah getting taken out. Sword with the grenade missed and hit his teammate. That's the bomb down inside of sight as well. Both of the attackers are isolated right now. Sword tries to walk in. A lot of damage. Actually, no damage being placed onto Soar. He's going to grab the bomb and actually hop straight out of the bomb site. A, kind of a misplay by Zonky. That would have been a great kill for him. Poor going to get hit by that Legion Mine, slowing him down just a little bit. It is still match point for Zonky. All he has to do is win this 1v2, and he wins the game here. Yana clone coming out from Soar. That's going to get taken out. No more info for Soar or... Core. Core actually has a drone in the site, but Zonki's going to rotate into customs. It's not going to matter. Core with the kill on the Zonki. Core just too good over these past two games. Consistently out aiming Zonki. It's not something that we expect to see, but it's what's been happening. And that's going to be OT 3-3 for the silver players now. Match point lead gone for Zonki. We already see Zonki trying to barricade it as much as he can. The Legion Mind's going out. He's doing exactly what I've been saying to counter the silver players he's trying to place down these traps in as many different places as he can he has no idea where these silver players are going to come through he's just trying to throw traps all over the map really all he's doing it for is for the sound cue he wants to know when someone is pushing there and where they're pushing from and that's exactly what he's trying to do here zap with an ash charge onto the double door here possibly trying to ash charge into bomb site quickly soar already opened up the site window as well zap throwing a drone in this might be a push from zaki he's already inside of the ventilation workshop bomb site here soar with the drone they're gonna see him zaki's gonna rotate out and that's gonna be a lot of damage onto zap who's on just about one hp right now he's got to be careful though as zaki is gonna get the kill onto soar i was about to say soar is pushing in but he's gonna get taken out core his arch nemesis pushing in through main lobby here as well as eclipse using customs right now this could be a gunfight here between Zaki and Kor. We're about to see. Kor is going to whip out the Twitch drone. Zaki is going to shoot it. Lots of damage to the wall from both players here. More so onto Zaki than onto Kor. The other attackers are pushing in. That's going to be Eclipse getting taken out. It wasn't enough. Hannah is still playing outside of the ventilation window. We see pa Zap already inside of the site, but they don't have the bomb. Kor has the bomb, but it's not going to matter because Kor takes him out. 4-3 to three for the silver players now. Lucky wall bank kill from Kor there. Just getting... So many easy kills onto Zonki. It's really not what you'd expect to see here. Like I said, man, I think all it is is that core is off the G fuel, bro. That's all it is, man. He used Coach Shock. He used the link down below in the description. He already told me about it, man. He's drinking some blue eyes G fuel right now. That's all it is, bro. Interesting strat from Zap here. He's actually going to be picking up the castle and he's going to be playing inside of the CCTV. Three of his castle bear kids have yet to be placed. He's making a rotate out into armory. I'm not sure what his plan with this is just yet. The other castle bear kid is going to be ripped out. So he has all four castles in his pocket. Not that it would matter. Is Zaki currently playing as Sledge. So those castle bear kids would be no problem to him whatsoever. Core, the arch nemesis of Zaki, roaming downstairs. He potentially heard. The detention wall getting picked up by Zonki here. He's going to be towards the front door. Trying to get the kill. Could be an early round here as Core is trying to swing in through the front door. That's going to be a run out from Zap, actually. He's going to get taken out. An unprecedented run out from Zap. That's the castle gone. A little bit of damage onto Zonki, though. Pre-fire coming out from Zonki. Shots are going to miss. Core hits a couple shots. Swings coming out. No shots from either player going to hit. Core trying to do what he can to peek out through the front door. Zonki's going to run out of there, though. He's going to go towards the ventilation window now. And Kor realizes this. He's going to be peeking towards the front door now. Who's going to win this gunfight? SMG-11 versus the L85. A lot of damage on the Kor. Smoke grenades coming out. Kor's going to swing. Zonki takes him out. Zonki now on 20 or 30 HP versus the last three remaining silver players. Hannah, Eclipse, and Soar. Hannah and Soar on site. Eclipse roaming downstairs by east stairs right now. So this could be an easy 1v2 on the site depending on how Zonki chooses to play this. C4 going to come out from Soar. That's going to miss. A grenade coming out as well. That's Zonki taking out Soar. There goes your Thunderbird. Eclipse going to run back to site now. Actually might be trying to flank in through break room to CC right now. We'll see what he chooses to do. Remember, there is this hole in the wall right now. This could be huge for Eclipse. The door is open as well. Zonki's droning. Zonki needs to get off drone. He has no idea that Eclipse is here. This could be terrible. Zonki, you need the drone site and realize that no one else is here. 
Eclipse so close on this door right now. He's going to walk out. If he walks out right now, this is an easy kill for Zonky. Or an easy kill for Eclipse. And that's going to happen. Eclipse with the kill on the Zonky. 5-3 win for him. GG's. The silver players take it. 2-0. to zero. Look into the scoreboard here. Core, Eclipse, and Hannah on top here on border. Hard fought victory for them. GG's well played. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow Zonky with the links down below in the description. You can also find my socials there as well. Make sure to use code SHOCK. Get 30% off G Fuel for a limited time only. The link is down below in the description. Consider subscribing. Turn notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. I do post daily here on the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed and comment down below any other suggestions you have for future videos. And thank you so much for watching.